Hello, and welcome to the Ages of Warfare 2 Advanced Guide to NPC Combat. My name is Sadheart, and in this guide, I'll be instructing you on how to become a pro in NPC Combat. I'll be starting with the 5 topics of this guide, beginning with Commands Continued, Formations, Troop Quality Continued, Siege Engines, Economy, and finally, Tactics. And in this video, I'll only be covering Commands Continued and Formations, primarily focused on range units. So stay tuned for future guides which will include the remaining topics. Starting off, the first and most vital command, the Team Chat Prefix. This is vital for communication with your team and is often the most used command in the game. Cease. Orders your troops to hold their projectiles. You might have already heard about this command in the beginner's guide to NPC combat. However, ceasefire is not the one true command. In reality, the simplify command is cease. The reason for this change was for me to survey the player base to see if this guide benefited someone, and if you saw someone type cease fire, then it indeed did. For how this works, then consider the following. Chain Command Cease plus Attack Orders your range troops to switch to their melee weapon and attack. Please note that this is only for range units who have a melee sidearm. These units would naturally switch to their sidearm after they run out of ammo. These units would also switch to their sidearm if they come too close to an enemy. In the Renaissance Age, there are two units capable of ranged and melee, one being the Japanese Elite Samurai, and the other being the Ottoman Elite Janissary. Both of these units are capable of close quarters and long range combat. There are free available formations to set your troops apart. Loose providing the most isolation but occupying a large area. Tight being the default, allowing just enough room to walk through. And the testudo, similar to a shield wall, condensing the troops down shoulder to shoulder. Attack range, also called targeting range, is a maximum distance in which a unit can attack another unit. Every range unit has its own independent maximum range meaning that the front unit can target an enemy that the rear does not see. To allow for the rear to fire upon the enemy, we will need to move the entire formation forward, dangerously close to the enemy. To allow for more firepower at range, the best solution will be to increase our frontage. Frontage is typically increased with the means of occupying more space along the front line of the formation, creating a broader front. In Ages of Warfare 2, projectiles phase through other friendly troops, enabling weapons to be fired without the risk of friendly fire, as long as the troop maintains light of sight to the target. To maximize our offensive capabilities regarding both attack range and frontage, our formation will generally take the form of a line formation, consisting of a depth of 1-3 ranks and may change depending on the situation and terrain. 
such as forming a square formation to protect against flanking enemies or concentrate firepower onto a single point. It is not recommended to use a square against siege weapons. Just note that if your formation becomes too excessively wide, your troops positioned at the flanks may find themselves beyond the maximum attack range, resulting in the reduction of your overall frontage. This issue can be easily solved by moving closer to the enemy. Range units don't suffer from debuffs like how players do, allowing them to run and gun while loading on the move. For my next clip, I need a human, so I call my good old pal. Introducing the one and only Monkey Brain to the stage! <laughs> 